Hey guys, it is day three of Bat Invader. How are you doing? Have you been having a fun weekend? I, for one, have been watching as many vlogs as I can from day one and day two from the Bat Invader community, and they're looking awesome. And there is one in particular that I really want to tell you guys about. If you haven't watched it yet, you must check out day one of Sincere B's vlogs because it is incredible. He has written the most amazing song and he performs this in day one. And um, it doesn't sound quite like what you're hearing now, which is a set of backpipes that are playing in the background of my vlog. So, I'm going to pause for just a second and I will come back to you with the rest of my vlog. Okay guys, I have moved location because the bagpipes were a little loud where I was and as you can hear they're still playing and I need to get this vlog done because I have a very important date with some amazing people in a community called Bat Invader uh, tonight in our Google Hangout which is at 10pm London time. So today's topic is all about the local news, which let's face it, is probably gonna be a lighter thing than what's going on in the rest of the world at the moment because it's pretty heavy out there. Um, so, what's been going on in London and the UK, you might wonder? Well, we have the Commonwealth Games finishing tonight. The opening ceremony was 10 days ago, I think, and the closing ceremony is tonight. Those are probably the two things at the Commonwealth Games that I will actually have been able to see because I've been working and vlogging and preparing and running while um, everything else has been on. So I haven't seen much of it, but uh, if the opening ceremony is anything to go by, I think the closing ceremony is going to be pretty interesting. Uh, wasn't the best one in the world, I have to say. Um, Rod Stewart did appear though, that was kind of cool. Uh, but otherwise, lots of dancing tea cakes and male coordinated dancing and um, yeah, Pipers, obviously, with Scotland. But what else has been going on? Okay, so Zoo Lates. Zoo Lates is a, an event that happens at London Zoo. And it's, as you, from the name you can probably guess, it's when they open up the zoo late and they let people in to have a drink and there's a little fun fair and you get to see some of the animals. Uh, but there's been a little bit of contention about this because it seems that some of the guests who are coming in have actually been, it's horrible to say, but throwing their beer bottles at some of the animals, which is just horrific. Um, so they are protesting uh, against the zoo lates at the moment and they are looking to close them down and I have to say although I've been to one of these events I'm kind of with them actually I think it should be taken away um, if you want to go and see them that's great but you know the alcohol thing do you need alcohol to go and see tigers and lions and I don't think so just enjoy them um, and also animals like to get up in the morning they're real early morning people or animals um, they that, that's what they do the Sun comes up they get up then like towards the end of the day they're pretty tired so while these people are going in actually they're sleeping and the only ones that I saw really were a few llamas and some penguins and actually it was the last show of the day because uh, they make them perform in the zoo because that's what they do so yeah I'm, I kind of I love the fact that zoos get you to be able to see animals that you might never ordinarily see but when it comes to making animals entertain for you and to kind of then make light of the fact that they're there, it's not cool. So, boo to zoo lates and uh, yay to early morning visits to the zoo. And finally, the other thing that has been going on in the press this weekend is that the Department of Health has given the uh, sperm banks in the UK a boost of £700,000 which is hopefully going to be able to make sure that couples, same sex and um, kind of uh, other couples, every, every kind of couple, why do I always get stuck on things like this? Couples everywhere will be able to have babies, whether that's conceiving or kind of going through surrogates or whatever, they have more of an opportunity to be able to do that, which is awesome. Uh, especially because people like me, who's still single in my 30s, might need that service at some point in the next few years. Um, and um, so apparently there is a massive shortage at the moment. So guys, um, nice, good looking, kind of 
fits, healthy, wonderful guys. If you wouldn't mind just kind of trixing down there every now and again and making the world a more beautiful, healthy, wonderful place, uh, that would be fantastic. Thank you very much. Okay, I think that's enough from me today and um, I'm sure you are absolutely loving the bagpipes but it's driving me bonkers so I will see you later tonight for our Google Hangout. <laughs>